bucket full. That was a damn hornet nest down in that freaking tank. Like great deer. Now I got hornets all over my freaking log there. Big old piece of chicken in the woods right there. Charlie, how's it going? Pretty good, and you? Going. So, ready to do some dicker in? Yeah, sure. I definitely ain't no professional carpenter. I'm a backyard do it yourself with a chainsaw type carpenter. Here we go. So today we're gonna harvest some chicken of the woods. Got a nice big old piece of chicken of the woods right there. And we're gonna trade some of it for some cedar logs. I got a, I got a project I'm gonna make here of a, a little feeder trough I make for my mother out of cedar logs. So I'm gonna trade some of this chicken of the woods mushroom to a friend of mine for cedar logs. Yeah, that's a good one. This tree's pretty cool. All over right there, the branch is gonna break off here eventually. But yeah, that is a lot of chicken in the woods. Right here on the top one. We're just gonna harvest that, throw it right in the right in the bucket here. Just gonna start picking it right off. That's some nice looking stuff. So I'm not a mushroom eater, that's why I'm trading this, but I, I have eaten this and I will eat some of this. It tastes just like chicken. They definitely named it properly. Oops, five gallon bucket full. Kind of a messy pick job, but they say there's a bunch of bugs down inside in the center there. So I really don't want to be giving that to buddy. This is where it grew a couple of years ago. First time I had chicken in the woods. So I, I cut off a little piece of it just to try and I ended up posting it on Facebook and somebody saw my post and come in my road here and took all of it, took all the rest of it before I could get any more of it. So luckily this year it grew up high and I tell you what, I ain't posting it on Facebook. That's my mushroom. All right, so we're over here to my buddy Charlie's house. He meet me down by the pile here. So, pile of logs right there. Just hey Charlie, how's it going? Pretty good, and you? Going. So, ready to do some dicker in? Yep, sure am. Got a bucket of mushrooms in the trade for some of these logs. Sounds good. Trying, trying to make a feeder trough for my mother out of some cedar logs, so. Yeah, she'll like that. Oh yeah. So, let's see these mushrooms here. Yeah, I got a bucket full of chicken in the woods for you. Looks good. No, that's, I love mushrooms. No, that's a good trade. Yep. That's a lot of mushroom. But yeah, I need one, two, three, four logs, five logs probably. Yeah. So, well, you're more know. than welcome to whatever you need. Yep. So, yeah, no, I do a lot of bargain and dicker with Charlie, yes. So. That works a lot better than money, if you ask me. Especially around here. Yep. I'll clean them out before I eat them. And... Yeah, go over them some. There's a couple of bugs you might have to pick off of it. Yep. I think I even showed the bugs in the video, too. Anyway, so. Yep. At least they'll and see. I, I, so I didn't, like, pick off the whole inner piece there with the bugs. that left that on the tree. Yep. But Is that going to grow back? Yeah. The same place? If I could, if I, no. Like, it'll grow back some this year, I think. But, like, this tree, it was down below like two years ago it wasn't even last year but two years ago it was on the same tree but now it's on a different spot on the tree yeah so something about that tree is producing they like this it. mushroom all right so i think i'm going to grab this cedar and that cedar Start cutting these pieces up. He's got a feeding trough. Yes, I'm gonna offload them right here at my house and just notch them 
and probably tomorrow morning I'll uh, assemble it up in their field or uh, assemble it today and tell her about it. It's a birthday present for my mother. So. I like doing business with Charlie. We do a bunch of dick during uh, what I just recently do. Oh, I brought him down a bunch of veggies and some honey and some crayfish for some other cedar. The cedar I got these dog houses built out of. Built all my dog houses out of uh, three sided cedar logs. And I uh, just sawed out a bunch more the other day. So, no, we've always done trading. A couple years ago, I traded him a bunch of uh, pumpkins for pig food for. I think I was sawing lumber. I was sawing lumber from a sugar shack. So no, it's no money ever exchanges hands when it comes to me and Charlie. It's always, always barter, barter system. The trees have been down for a couple of years, so it feels pretty good. I actually use this stuff for my bee smoker for doing my honeybees. I'll store that in the barn, let it dry out this winter. Next summer I'll have plenty of fuel for the smoker. Alright, what I'm going to do is just take my pen, mark where this log is going to sit. like a glove yeah so I just can't pick this whole thing up and move it up into my field so I can't build the whole thing right here but I can like assemble it here take it back down bring it up there and reassemble it so I'm gonna uh, go get my screw gun right now that way I can put a couple screws to this to keep where it's at screw a couple in just like this I already like it that looks nice I think that's gonna work out just fine I'm hoping we'll find out still. Looking more like the vision I had in my head. Should be able to stand it right up. Oh, no, well, I'm gonna put a couple more screws in that. Jesus. Yep, I'm gonna put a couple more screws in that. Try to trim off the base here a little bit. Yep, of course. GoPro, uh, GoPro battery died, and I uh, decided to just go for it and do it anyways without the GoPro. And I flipped it; it went all the way over. Like I couldn't hold it up once I hit the upright. It fucking kept going. And that was the damn hornet nest down in that freaking tank leg like right there. Now I got hornets all over my freaking log there. Not all over, but there's a there's a few. So, yep, it's funny how I shut the camera off and that stuff happens. I didn't get stung yet. Keyword there is yet. I still got to get it out of there. Just like that. Oh, 
I got the other side stood up. Thought I was recording the whole time, but it wasn't. That happens from time to time when you're trying to videotape yourself doing something. Trying to uh, just finish a project and uh, kind of got to stop thinking about videotaping and try to focus on the project. Just keep it from falling over while I'm doing all this. Really measure up here too. See what we got roughly. That looks good enough. That's right where it's at. Move this one on. And cut this end off flat. Oh well, this is gonna work. But video at least, yeah. Exactly what I was trying to do. And we got a feeder trough. Oh, we're not even close to wide now. Well, I cut this at five foot. Yeah, I think I got it. Spinning this bottom out some, somehow. Down right there. That is what I'm shooting for. No, oh, dear, be able to come right up to that and throw some grain or apples or whatever we're feeding them at the time. Right in there, they come and eat that, slow enough. I'm gonna load this right onto my trailer here. Back to right up, we're gonna unscrew this board here and flop this side down, and probably back up and flop this other side down. Oh, the whole fucking thing's gonna fall. Like that. Well, that didn't work. We uh, we already lost an axe. It already came apart. So, whoops, egg. That's about how my missions go all the time. Nothing goes right. All right, it's the next day. I forgot to start videotaping, but I've already put up two trusses there. Not right or anything. There's only a little deer feeder, so I'm not doing stuff properly, but it's good enough for what I'm doing. So we're gonna screw these together. Bolt it like that. Seven inches overhanging. Okay, get some more lumber, which I have. I have a bunch of scrap pieces of lumber. I used to have a 
used to have a sawmill when I was younger. That was actually the first thing I did on my self-employment adventure here. I've been self-employed for 11 years now. 11 years this month I've been self-employed. So the first thing I did was quit my job and run a sawmill. Bought a little sawmill, sold lumber. And then I bought a skidder, started cutting wood with a chainsaw. And then I got into trapping and selling birch bark and birch poles and honeybees and maple syrup and I do everything. So, and I don't mind, it keeps me occupied. Up here getting some lumber. It's a big pile of lumber that I got from back when I used to have a sawmill. Yeah, these are just thin little cedar boards. Somewhere. Put one more across the bottom right here. And go get some uh, metal roofing. I'll get some used metal roofing. Get used. So we're finishing up the feeder today. I ended up just going up and cutting some old metal roofing. I forgot to videotape it. Got some old recycled roofing. I got into four foot. We're just gonna layer it up there and screw it on there. Won't be right, but it's gonna shed water enough for a deer feeder. So it is a deer feeder. Yeah, I definitely ain't no professional carpenter. I'm a backyard do-it-yourself with a chainsaw type carpenter. So this is probably totally wrong. Shot a squirrel.
gonna put a screw up in here for my bee feeder. I got a bunch of honeybees, I'm a honeybee keeper. So I feed them sugar water. Shit in my eye. We got a sugar water feeder here. It's just a Hawaiian punch bottle with little little holes dripped in, poked in the bottom. And once it draws down enough suction, it's, it's not breathing through the top at all. It'll stop dripping. And I, I hang these throughout the property for the bees to feed on. Yeah, that's a done done setup. That came out nice. Good. There's our game camera right here. We got on it, cellular camera that goes to my mother's phone so she can see the deer when they're there. That come out pretty cool. All for zero dollars. Traded the mushrooms for the logs. Had all the lumber, had the screws, had the roofing. So that's pretty cool. That's our deer feeder. I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to check out one of my other good videos.